Hey y'all, welcome to Lisa's Escapades. Today I'm in a ghost town called Blakely, Alabama, and I stayed the night here next to a cemetery. So come with me and see what I see. <laughs> There's lots of trails to walk and it's absolutely beautiful, huge, huge trees. So we'll see what we get into. Okay, so I was checking my campsite out <clears throat> and I came walking through the back path here and look what's on the other side of it. We got a cemetery. So I'm sleeping right behind a cemetery. That ought to be interesting tonight. Let's go look at them and see what they say. Mary M. Foster, May 5th, 1839, June 6th, 1948. At rest. I can't read this one. I think this is Prince. And I can't read the last name. O'Rourke's maybe? June 15, 1871. Jan January 3rd, 1918. And I can't read the rest of it. But yeah, these are Civil War graves. They're Civil War graves and they don't have any names on them. It looks like way over there there's another cemetery too. Apparently there's a monument right over there too. Um, it's pretty cool. I'm sure on the weekends it's probably packed, but today is Sunday, so there's really hardly anybody here, a few people. But somebody's shooting an AK-47 close by. It could be across the way, but man, is it loud. Seems like it's closer than it probably is. So I haven't heard any more gunshots, but they could start up again. So I'm getting ready for tonight, and... I'm going to start a fire here in a minute. But check out this uh, tree. This thing's huge. That went down. Or they cut it. Don't know why though. Must have been a reason. Anyways. If I hear the gunshots, I'll come back on. Okay, I'm ready. Let's see what happens. See if we see anything. I did see an armadillo already. That was pretty cool. He's a big fat one too, boy. He must have been eating good out here. So I know y'all are gonna probably say, oh, that's not healthy to eat, but I know that. But I'm gonna have a hot dog, because it's easy. And it's what I got that I didn't have to buy, that I brought from home. So I'm gonna cook this up and we're gonna have hot dog. 
So I decided to put it on tinfoil. It'll make it a little easier. That fire is pretty hot. There's nothing more relaxing than sitting by a fire in the woods and just listening to nature. It's just so relaxing. There's something about it. So I'm just sitting out here with a fire going, just listening to what I can, can hear. It's pretty quiet, <clears throat> but just now I started hearing some knocking off in the distance. And it's happened more than once, probably three, four, maybe five times. Um, I'm not really sure what it is, but I do hear it. Also, I heard like a some kind of weird scream. Um, but I couldn't rule it out that it might, it might have been a horse because there are horses here. So I'm not really sure if it was a horse. Didn't sound like one, but you know, I don't know. It could have been. So I'm just sitting out here listening. It's uh, pretty darn quiet and pretty dark, but it's relaxing. I love it. Is there anybody here with me? What's your names? Why are you still here? Did you die in the Civil War? Is there anybody that died in the Civil War here with me? What's your name? Well, I hope you can get eternal rest and peace. I'll leave you be. Good night. Good morning. Coffee's ready. So now I'm cooking up a pound of bacon because my cooler is out of ice and that's the only thing in there. So I'm going to cook it up and then buy more ice later today. Of course, I won't eat it all right away, but anyways, I'm going to make some bacon and eggs, and then we're going to get on a trail somewhere. Cooking bacon in the woods. And just like that, breakfast is served. Go ahead, you take the first bite. Now it's my turn. Mm. Everything tastes better in the woods. So I'm learning a lot about this park. This trail here, back there is where they had the rifle pits. Um, there was a battle fought here in the Civil War. So this is from some of the people that actually laid in these pits. It says, lay in the pits all day as I sleep, but very little in the night. I, kept, I slept about three hours this afternoon, or this forenoon. 
sitting in the bottom of the trench and leaning back against the side. Both ours and the rebel skirmishers keep kept up a continual fire and the balls were singing over us almost every moment by Bella St. John, 46 Illinois. And then this one says, they are usually two or three feet deep, the dirt beneath being thrown on the sides toward the enemy. Sometimes on top of, the, of this dirt will be placed the trunks of trees about six inches in diameter by scrapping by scraping away a little dirt from under the trunk, the enemy could be seen without exposing the head of the observer. That was J.S. Clark, 34th Entropy, Iowa. That's pretty interesting. You can see out here all the trenches that they had dug and set behind. And they've kept this park up nice. I'm sure there's a lot of artifacts here. And probably before it became a park, people were probably digging them, I would imagine. Sure is beautiful in this forest, that's for sure. I don't trip and kill myself. That looks like some sort of mountain right there. Yeah, these woods are so thick. I know raspberries go around here in the summer and blackberries. And I did read that bears do come in this park or in this area anyway. Look at how majestic all these trees are. These must be the trenches here where they were down in here. Man, I wish you could metal detect here for sure, but I don't want to go to jail. Wow, what a beautiful place. You know, Alabama is my home state. That's where I was born. Um, but I haven't explored a lot of it, and I need to, because there's some beautiful spots. Lots of horse poop. Look out for that. That's a big old pile of poop. <laughs> oh my gosh. Good fertilizer, though. Yeah, if you have horses, you can bring them here and ride them.
This is where the old house sat. It's now a picnic area. But this tree, I'm thinking was probably here during the Civil War, because look at the size of it. I mean, I, this camera's not gonna do it justice. That thing is as big around wide as my car is wide. It's just massive. I mean, my hand's not going to show it because it's closer, but look at this. Amazing. There's a sign over here. Let's go see what it says. So basically this is a live oak and it says it, it's probably been here since the early 1800s and I believe it. Because it's massive. I don't think I've seen one this big ever. Just look at the root system. That right there tells you a lot. You can see some old trash in here. Old bottles, more modern. Old style cans. Yeah, it looks like newer stuff. And some older looking stuff. All broken though. So unfortunately, this area has a dark history. Um, when you were convicted of a crime or whatever and they hung you by this tree in the early 1800s and this is the actual tree that is no longer alive that's just laying there that they hung people from so that's very sad you know that's not a pleasant way to go I'm sure but yeah this is what it says if you want to read about it. Actually, I'll read it to you. Legendary Oaks. Courts met under Jury Oak. Early 1800s. Judge presided while sitting on the tree limb. Public executions held at nearby Hanging Tree. Alabama For Folklife Association. William G. Pomeroy Foundation 2019. So yeah, that's the tree. And there's a hole going down there. I don't know what that's all about. I've been the shops over in here. These are just like replicas of the area where they stood. And this is where the Baldwin County first um, courthouse was the site of, which is where these judges hung those people from that tree, which is right over there. Just awful. Well, I guess, you know, people did bad things, but still, that's not a fast way to go. Oh, it's got the original building here still behind this gate. Look at that. Look how old the wood is. It's the old foundation right there. Very cool. Man, the things you could probably find in this little crevice, metal detecting. If only you were allowed. <laughs> you can tell I'd really like to, I can't you? But you gotta follow the rules. And you gotta leave stuff here for other people to see. Because if they took everything, I wouldn't be able to see what's this. This is pretty cool. It's an original, an original foundation. Incredible. And it looks like there's a hole over there. That's probably where somebody was metal detecting. So, that's why they put a stop to it, so it wouldn't be all torn up. Yeah, definitely somebody was digging there. Because that looks like the um, steps leading into it, and probably things were dropped there. 
That's a shame. So this is the old site of where the church was. This is not original building, but you can see here. That's what it looked like, the original stuff. Pretty interesting. You can see again here, here's another hole. People have been digging for artifacts and metal detecting and that's against the law here. I keep hearing something behind me. Sounds like it's whining, but I think it's trees rubbing together because it's windy. Hey, this is a site of the Appalachian village of Indians. This is where the Indians used to live in this area um, before the settlers came in. And it's right on, it looks like a water. So let's go look at it. So that's a bat house up there. So they do have a boat here you can go out on. It's extra money, I'm not sure how much. But yeah, that's pretty cool too. Look, they've thought of everything, no magnet fishing prohibited. Huh. They're pretty, they have blue tails. The ants have them. Hmm. This is the original tunnel that I used to go through as a child when I came home. And now I am almost home in Mobile, Alabama. This is where I was born. A lot of rich history.